I can't believe I've never filmed a video like this on my channel, but we are doing it today and I'm so excited to share with you guys my no buy list for this year. This includes a lot of fashion stuff, some lifestyle stuff, and a little bit of beauty. So make yourself comfortable, grab yourself a snack, a drink, and let's jump right into the video. So like I said in the intro, I've never done one of these, not as a video, but also not for myself. I've personally never made a no buy list, but I've been seeing these all over YouTube and I feel very inspired to do it, especially this year. If you're also tired of just shopping and shopping and shopping and spending so much money, I encourage you to join me and make your own no buy list for this year. And the first thing that I am not buying this year is a brand new luxury bag. Now this might come as a big surprise to you guys because my channel is all about fashion and luxury and I love luxury bags. I love my luxury bags. I love shopping luxury bags. I love talking about luxury bags, but I really think that this is going to be the year that I won't be purchasing any brand new luxury bags from the boutiques. Now, I have a couple of reasons for this. And first of all, I am not trying to say that I'm not buying any bag this year. I just wanna stay away from purchasing a brand new bag from the store. Now, one of the reasons is price increases. Now, as you guys know, in luxury fashion and when you talk about luxury bags, there are constant price increases, sometimes once a year, sometimes multiple times a year, depending on the brand. And this has always kind of been a thing in luxury fashion, but I do feel like over the past few years after the pandemic, it has been ridiculous. So what I don't like about it is that they have price increases, but the quality of the bags and the craftsmanship decreases. Now, because of this, I want to move towards more vintage shopping and vintage luxury because the sad truth is that bags and just luxury that was made years and even decades ago just have better quality than today's product. And it's so sad because we pay a luxury price tag, but we don't really get a luxury item anymore. And it's all just about the price increases and how designers can just make their products as cheap as possible to gain more profit. So next up on my no buy list this year, are synthetic fibers. I used to buy so many clothes from fast fashion stores and I would always buy from like the sales section and I would buy all these very low quality pieces that I would only wear a couple of times or that would just break in a couple of uses. Now this year, I would love to invest in more high quality clothes. I really want to invest in natural fibers like silk, wool, linen, cotton, cashmere. I think the older I get, I do really prefer quality over quantity. Now, next up is I think one of my weaknesses and it is t-shirts. I love t-shirts. It's one of my favorite items in my wardrobe. I have so many t-shirts, so many kinds. I have like baby tees, I have crop t-shirts, I have oversized t-shirts. But when I look at my closet, I think I reached a point where I really don't need any more t-shirts. And this is honestly gonna be a hard one for me because I am that type of person that if I like something, I buy it in so many different colors. So I will make it my mission this year to not purchase any t-shirts. I do wanna tell you guys that if you want to buy t-shirts this year, I do recommend the Uniqlo t-shirts. So last year I purchased so many t-shirts from Uniqlo and they are truly the best. And oh my gosh, even thinking about it, I just want to go out and buy some new t-shirts. But no, this year is all about quality over quantity and intentional shopping. So no more t-shirts for me. Next up is another capsule wardrobe item and it is tank tops. I love them so much. I wear tank tops under anything. Like I can sleep in a tank top. I can work out in a tank top. I love tank tops so much. Again, different 
like necklines, different colors, but I just don't need any more tank tops. Like enough is enough. And I don't want to keep buying the same things that I already have. This year, I really want to save my money and make very intentional purchases that I put on wish lists. And I really want to be more intentional with purchasing and just my wardrobe in general. I want to have a very well curated wardrobe and for me in order to work towards that just means that i have to stop buying things that i already have now next up on my no buy list and this item i love so so much it is wide leg pants or trousers and this one is going to be really hard for me as well because I think wide leg pants are the only pants that I really, really wear on a daily basis. I'm not a jeans girl. Like denim, I don't know what it is. I really try it so hard. But I think with my body type, jeans never look good. It just never flatters my body. I don't like the way they feel. I just don't like it. So I'm either in trousers or in leggings or skirts but the problem is that i have so many and i think especially last year i bought so many it's just hard because i want them in every color and every fabric so i have ones that are from wool that are made from linen because they're better to wear in the summer and a spring but i just i don't want to buy another pair of white leg trousers this year Man, this is really hard. I didn't know that it was going to be this hard. When I was writing my list, I was like, oh, easy, you know? But when you speak it out, when you say it out loud, it honestly, I can feel the pain. I can feel the internal pain and almost regret of me saying this right now. But this is why I make videos on YouTube because I'm doing it with you guys and I don't feel alone. So if you feel alone about not spending or anything, like I got you, I'm right here with you. And I really struggle with this as well, but we're gonna get through it together. Next up is sweatshirts sweatshirts, loungewear. I love loungewear so much. So because I work from home, I just gravitate more towards clothing for every day that is just really comfortable. And I love a pair of sweats, leggings, and just a sweatshirt, but I have so many. So I feel like I already downsized a lot in my sweatshirt collection, but I still feel like I keep buying them. And whenever I see one that's so good, I try it on, I feel like, ooh, this looks and feels great and is at a good price point. I just, I do it and I do it again and again and again. So I don't wanna keep making the same mistake. This year, I'm not buying any sweatshirts. I have a lot. I have many different colors. Again, different cuts. I have big oversized ones. I have cropped ones. I have just more relaxed fit. And it's, it's enough. I have enough sweatshirts. And this year, I'm not buying any more. All right, the next item on my no buy list for this year are water bottles or cups. I have so many, you guys. Like last year, I don't know what came over me. I just, I bought so many cups. It's like, like this obsession of finding the next best cup. So I do have my Stanley here, which is my current favorite. I actually mentioned it in my best purchases of last year, but I also have one from Corksicle and I got one from Hydro Flask. They are amazing. Don't get me wrong. I am so happy that I bought these water bottles, but the whole point of having a water bottle is that you just have one and that you don't have to keep using plastic water bottles. Moving on to the next thing. This is hard, you guys. This is really, really hard. But the next thing that I will not buy this year, it's candles. And yes, I'm a candleholic. I love candles so much. I love Bath & Body Works candles. And I'm just a sucker for a good sale as well. So back in December, there was the annual sale for Bath & Body Works and I went crazy, you guys. I think I got like 12 candles, which is absolutely insane. Like nobody needs 12 candles all at once, but I did because they were only 
going for I think five ninety nine. Like I I don't even know. Like I don't know why I thought it was okay to buy so many candles all at once, but I did. And I'm so happy because it was really cheap. So I did save a lot of money by buying it in bulk. But now that I have bought this many candles, I don't need to buy any more candles for this entire year. Like I'm good. Like one candle a month, I am okay. And also because they're the big ones, they're the three wick ones, I really don't need more candles. I know I have an obsession with candles and depending on my mood and all that stuff, I want to light different ones, but this year, no more candles. Now, next up on this list is going to be one that's really hard because this is another one of my obsessions and it is perfumes. My goodness, I love perfumes so much. I love just having different types of perfumes. I love smelling nice and I love to, you know, receive compliments when I'm wearing like nice perfumes. You guys, I think I have like 30 perfumes. <laughs> it is ridiculous. Like I buy perfumes like toothpaste and it is just unhealthy at this point. I have so many bottles that I do use but they're just still so full and I don't want to do this. I don't want to be this type of person. I want to use my perfume until it's empty and then purchase a new one. So again, I feel like that's going to be kind of my rule that I won't purchase a new perfume bottle until I run out of one. But again, that's not going to happen this year because I'm telling you, all my bottles are still really, really full. And it's crazy because I use so much perfume. Like when I use perfume, I literally spray like six times, but somehow the bottles, it just, it doesn't go down. So I have to stop buying perfumes this year and I will use my perfumes that I already have, like all 30. And then maybe, no, not even next year. I just, I don't wanna buy perfumes for like, I think at least a couple of years. Like, I'm not even kidding you guys. I have so many perfumes to go through. And yeah, it's just on my no buy list this year. And maybe, probably also next year. Now, the last thing on my list is also something that's gonna be so hard for me. Like honestly, this entire list, like I say everything with pain in my heart. I'm not even kidding you guys. Like I love all these products so much and I love purchasing these products so much. But the next one is lipsticks. And I am not really that much of a beauty addict anymore. I used to always go to Sephora and you know, drop so much money and then regret it because I don't use it. But the thing with lipstick is I do use all my lipsticks and I just love buying lipsticks. It's like my favorite beauty product to purchase. And what's really funny is that they're usually always the same color. Like I love nude lipsticks, like nude and maybe a red, but I think I only have like five red lipsticks. Only five. Okay, so no more red lipsticks for me. But yes, I think the biggest thing is nude lipsticks. I don't need any more nude lipsticks. I have so many, so many different shades. My husband says that it all looks the same, which I know it's not, and you guys know it's not. But I just, I have enough. Like, I should stop buying lipsticks and just, you know, save my money to buy things on my wish list. So definitely no more Sephora for me because if I see perfumer lipsticks, I will be tempted. So maybe I'll do like a Sephora ban for at least this year or for a while, but that is the last item on my no buy list. Wow, you guys, we did it. We did it. 10 items that are on my no buy list. I'm not gonna buy these things this year. Next year, we will revisit this list and see if I did it. I feel encouraged because I'm doing it with you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. This was so fun to do with you guys. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you join us. I wish you all a very great day. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.